guys, it's Lenny and welcome to part 2 of my talk about depression. If you haven't seen part 1 yet, pause this video and go watch it, it'll be linked down below. In part 1, I talk more about experience with depression and how I got out of it, whereas in this video, I'm going to talk about how to maintain mental hygiene, the little things I do on a daily basis to keep my mind balanced and to really keep that dark cloud away for as long as possible. The same way that you would brush your teeth to avoid cavities, I'm going to talk about the little things I do daily to avoid falling back into a dark mood of depression. For me, I'm a morning person. I know that I'll be most productive in the morning. Even if I wake up feeling depressed, I'm going to find a way to get myself up and start the day. Everything for me starts in the morning. So my tip would be, as soon as you open your eyes, get out of bed. Don't start questioning yourself. Don't ask, how am I doing? Am I feeling depressed today? Am I feeling sad today? Just get up. Get out of bed. By staying in bed and starting questioning yourself, you're gonna just sink into depression. Mornings are usually the worst times for a depressed person because serotonin levels haven't gone up yet. They're actually really low. You're waking up from a nice, comfortable sleep where you were pain-free. And before your mind can start to question itself how you're feeling, I suggest you get right up. Once you're up, start doing things that are automatic to you in the morning. Make your bed, go to the bathroom. I like to leave my dishes for me in the morning, so that's something I can do while being on autopilot. It really gives time for my body to wake up and my brain to start functioning normally before anything big. And then I'll move on to breakfast. Now, eating healthily is not only good for your body, it's also good for your brain. So find a way to plan out a great breakfast the night before or if you're fine in the morning just make yourself something healthy and that will make you feel good i know eating in the morning can be hard if your stomach is not it if you're feeling nauseous and stressed out at the idea of the day that is coming i know i've been there so try to find something that will make you feel good even if it's something really small start with something small that will really open your stomach up and then maybe a few minutes later come back for the rest of your meal it's really important now what i do after breakfast is i directly go into workout. My favorite thing to do in the morning is yoga and my favorite channel as always is yoga with Adrian. I think it's the best out there on YouTube, it's free and she's amazing, always positive, always in a good mood and there's always new videos out there on a weekly basis so even if you get bored of the same moves there's always something new. So I do yoga 30 to 40 minutes depending on the video I'm choosing and it helps me to breathe, to focus on the present moment and it keeps my mind away from all the things I'm gonna have to do during the day afterwards. So yoga and directly after yoga I do five minutes of breathing exercises. Now five minutes is not a lot, it's just breathing and it aligns your mind with your body. It might seem a little hippy dippy but for me it's important, it really helps. It's really a routine that I've created for myself going to yoga to breathing and it really balances my mind. Maybe some days I don't need it, at the moment I need to create a positive bubble around me every morning so I really do go from yoga to meditating and then after after meditating, I watch a mind movie that I created for myself a few months ago and watching the mind movie after yoga and meditating really helps watch it with an open mind. So a mind movie is the same as a mind board or a dream board where you just stick photos of what you want to attract into your life, things that you aspire to, things that you want to have in your reality and for me I just have it in the form of a movie where I see the picture and the sentence and I just recite them every day with an open mind and it makes me focus on what my reality is and could be. So find something that feels good for you whether it's praying, taking a few minutes for yourself to recenter or talk things out with yourself, do an inner monologue or something, find something that creates balance for you. Maybe yoga works for me, maybe lifting weights works for you, maybe meditating works for me, maybe praying works for you. So find something that really gets you balanced and centered. Now the next point is really important and that is keeping a gratitude journal. Even if you can only write three things that you're grateful for, just write those three things down. Even if the next day you write down the exact three things, just write down those things again. 
Now I used to have a complete five minute journal like the one that Mimi and Alex Icon have out and that one is actually really good. It has an inspirational quote on top. It's amazing but when I finished that, I didn't repurchase a new one. I just talk. I just took an empty notebook and every day I put the date and I write today I'm grateful for. If I'm writing it down in the morning, I draw a little sun. If I'm writing it down in the evening, I draw a little moon and I start writing down everything I'm grateful for. And it can be small things like I'm grateful to have a bed. I'm grateful to have food, a house. I'm grateful to have family around me. It can be little things, big things, anything. I write down like I'm happy that is a sunny day. I'm happy that I have fresh air. I'm happy i'm happy that i have a cat with me <laughs> write as much down as you can and slowly it will bring positivity in your life it will force you to notice the little things that are good in your life okay i'm sorry for the change of light the clouds are coming in another thing to do is to dress to impress dress to impress yourself so if you're staying in your sweats, I understand they're comfortable but all you do is reflect your mood into how you look and how you look into your mood and it just mirrors into infinity. So take a little time in the morning, find some clothes that you feel good in, brush your hair, put a little bit of makeup on if that's something you like and look how you would like to feel if that makes any sense. I know if I stay in my baggy clothes all day, my day will be a little slobby because I feel a little bit like a slob whereas if I Take the time to put a proper pair of jeans on and a nice sweater, put a little concealer under my eyelids, do my eyebrows, brush my hair. I already feel more like the human being that I want to be. I feel more productive and proactive. So dress to impress yourself. So that is my morning routine, but throughout the day you are going to continue to cultivate your positivity. You're going to continue looking for the little things and I suggest that you fake it until you make it. You start looking for little things. Oh, there's like this leftover chocolate bar in my pantry. I didn't see it before and now I get to eat it. It might be a little thing, but just be like exaggerated. Be like, oh my god, this extra chocolate bar in my closet. That just made my day. And I know it's a lot, I know it feels silly, especially at first, but it will force your brain to fake feel it and then in the end it will, re it will real feel it. And after a while it won't feel so fake, it will actually be a reality for you. So exaggerate things, exaggerate feeling amazed, ex exaggerate feeling joy, even exaggerate things like humor. If something is a little funny, burst out laughing, exaggerate, roll on the floor, even though you feel silly, it might actually make you laugh even harder. Just exaggerate your feelings, positive feelings only, and after a while it won't feel so fake anymore. And also don't forget to congratulate yourself from time to time. Every day brings you a little bit out of the darkness and into the light. Congratulate yourself for getting up. Congratulate yourself for working out, for doing a little bit of work. Just be kind to yourself. Be your own best friend. Every little step brings you out of the darkness into the light. Every little step counts. Keep getting up every morning. Keep trying. Start small, go big. Just keep on moving. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. It's what counts. And also don't forget to acknowledge how you feel. There will be harder days and there will be easier days. Just acknowledge how you feel. Take it into consideration and adapt yourself. Maybe you need to do a little more meditation to get back in touch with yourself. Maybe you need to take a nap and rest. Maybe you need to have a big bowl of soup or something to make you feel all warm and healthy inside. So those are my daily tips on how to maintain a good balance a good mental hygiene those are things i do on a daily basis when i know that dark cloud is looming over me waiting for an opportunity to attack and i just do all these things to build my walls up build this defense to be sure it cannot get to me like i mentioned it's really about maintaining a healthy balance really practicing it daily because depression is not something that you kill once and for all it's sometimes always there sometimes you don't even notice it but sometimes you can feel it looming and you need to prepare yourself and and make sure you are in a good place with yourself to fight it. Of course, don't hesitate to tell me what you do to keep yourself mentally healthy. Share between yourself, share about your experience, what you do, how are you doing. I want to know. Tell me all about it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really does help with my channel. If you're not subscribed to me yet, please do so for more content. If you haven't seen part one, please go check it out. And there's also this other video I made which is my journey with anxiety, which really goes into detail about what were my triggers 
triggers, what happened to me. I talk about therapy, I talk about medication, so go check that video out also. So keep strong guys, believe in yourself, I L word you all and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye!